Hello friends, uh, my name is Varinder and I welcome you to our YouTube channel Cloud Ninja. So in this video we will study about uh, Amazon Web Services S3 cross region replication. In this video we will see that okay, what is cross region replication feature of S3 and what are the points we need to remember when we have to configure this uh, NAWS account or uh, onto the Amazon Cloud. And that what are these use cases, why we actually do it and uh, what are the requirements when we actually have to go ahead and configure this cross-region application. So friends, uh, just stay with us because in the end uh, we'll see a demo that how we can actually configure this cross-region application within few clicks. So without wasting much time, let's start. So cross-region application as we all know that uh, S3 is an object-based storage where we have to, where we can store the uh, different files or uh, style sheet objects or any kind of objects onto the S3, whether it is an MP3 file or a video file. So similarly, uh, you know, cross region application is a is a feature wherein you can replicate the data from one bucket to the other, which other bucket which could be in the different uh, different AWS regions. So that is why it is called as the cross region application. That is, we are copying the data across the different regions and uh, one thing we need to remember friends that it is asynchronous copy of the objects means it is not the synchronous asynchronous means let's say if there is a data in uh, in in the source bucket or in the x bucket and you need to transfer it to the y bucket so aws needs some time to actually replicate the data to the destination bucket so it is not the immediate effect that the data will be copied so, moving further, so when we actually configure this cross-region application, there are a couple of points we need to remember and uh, it will be good if we are going for the AWS architect exam as well if we can remember these points. Uh, the first one is that we need to create two buckets uh, within the AWS console under S3. One would be destination bucket, uh, one would be source bucket in and the other would be the destination bucket into the different AWS region uh, to where we want that our data should be replicated. The second is before we actually enable the or start the cross region application, we need to enable the versioning onto the both the buckets. We'll see that in demo. And the number three is uh, you know you need not to pay, you know worry about the security when the data will traverse across the you know different regions. Actually, Amazon does take care of that and encrypts the data which is in transit uh, and using the SSL secure socket layer. And the fourth one is, uh, remember friends, let's say if there is any kind of data which is already there in the bucket, so that data will not be replicated uh, when you enable or when you do the cross region application. So this is, we studied that, okay, what is cross region replication, what are the points you need to remember. And before actually moving on to the demo, because, you know, if we are doing something, we should be understanding that, okay, why we are doing it and what are its requirements. So the use case of cross region application is the first one would be the compliance requirement. As we all know that, uh, you know, Amazon is uh, AWS S3 feature that it, it replicates your data across, uh, you know, different uh, geographical regions or availability zones just to have the availability of your data. And, uh, but there could be a compliance requirement uh, which uh, which says that your data should be present in uh, within these specific regions just to be the compliance requirement at uh, you know, different distances depending on uh, maybe ISO 27001 or HIPAA compliant or PCI DSS. So, you know, minimize latency. There might be a possibility that uh, you are having a website or data which is being accessed by the user into the different uh, countries. So just to minimize the latency so that the, you know, a website or the data should be accessible to your users within a very less time, uh, you can go ahead and uh, enable the cross region applications. There are other use cases as well. So, you know, I have tried to use this uh, two use cases wherein uh, for the first could be the compliance requirement and uh, and the second is the, uh, you know, minimize the latency by actually copying your data onto the different AWS regions. So let's see that how we can actually configure it in, uh, you know, uh, in AWS account. So let's see the demo how we can actually do that. Into my, uh, you know, 
AWS account, so let's uh, you know click on F3, which is the object based storage. Uh, so you know once uh, it opens, it seems that uh, my internet is slow. So once this is open, uh, you know actually we need to create two buckets. So let's create uh, you know let's take our Mumbai region as the source region and cloud ninjas so remember that uh, first we need to create one source bucket and then we need to create a destination bucket into the different AWS region remember the source bucket is in AWS uh, Mumbai region and uh, let's go ahead and create this okay so our source bucket is created let's go ahead and create another bucket uh, so another name would be cloud ninjas hyphen test zero two. So I'm going to create in northern California region where actually my friend is in Microsoft and he works there. So let's uh, you know create another bucket in uh, North California. So we need to wait for you know these buckets to be created. Remember that um, you know when we actually in the previous part we studied that before actually doing the you know cross region application we need to actually uh, do a we need to enable the versioning onto these buckets so I have just click on uh, cloud ninja test digital one let me do one thing let me upload one one file just a small file so I'm going to let's say I have uploaded this open I have uploaded this file and uh, let me upload that okay the upload is complete so I'm just going ahead and uh, enabling the I'm going to enable the versioning which is uh, which is the prerequisite for uh, doing the cross region application so I'm just go ahead and click on enable versioning so just click on ok so similarly we will go ahead on to the second bucket click on properties and we will do the we will enable the versioning ok so just click on ok ok alright we are good to go now so I am let's click on properties and uh, let's enable the cross region replication so I am going to click on this and uh, click on this radio button enable the cross region application so remember this is our source bucket and uh, we can you know we just need to select the destination bucket so remember we created the destination bucket within this region and uh, the destination bucket we created is cloud in the test so we can also select the type of storage class um, you know S3 standard in frequent access or ready redundancy storage and if you want to study about these uh, you know three storage class you can you know just uh, go ahead into our channel and uh, just uh, you know learn that okay what are the different uh, storage classes and how you can reduce the price okay so we need to create an iron rule for that uh, so I'll be choosing the default options when uh, AWS will provide you the JSON uh, script or policy for that so let's uh, see the detail I'll show you that okay what this policy is so you can see this uh, shows the cross region application and uh, you know and allowing you to this from this particular resource test zero one and uh, you know and you can actually you know all the actions which you can do and th those actions will be replicated to the destination bucket which we have created is cloud media test zero two so I'm just going with the default uh, policy and uh, click on allow. Okay, so now we'll see. So now let's start, uh, you know, by uploading something. So I'm just going ahead and I'm uploading this, uh, you know, data. So I have uploaded two keys. So let's do a start upload. So remember, this is the file green box we have already uploaded, and uh, these are the files which we uploaded uh, later on. So these files, uh, you know, 
we have uploaded in. So let me go back and okay. So these are the files which we uploaded in uh, our source folder. So let's see if those have been replicated to Cloud Ninja Test Zero Two or not. We just need to wait for a few seconds. So let's do a refresh. We may need to wait for some time to, you know, to actually see that uh, because it, it's it's asynchronous and we need to wait. So, but uh, you know, the files which we have been copied has been, you know, replicated from the uh, destination bucket. So we'll go back and just remember one thing: the file which we, which was already uploaded, like uh, green box uh, PDF. Uh, has not been replicated because as we studied that the objects which has already been uploaded, you know, before enabling the cross the replication will not be uh, replicated. So only the newly objects, uploaded objects into the source bucket will be replicated to the destination bucket. So that's why I uploaded the green box before the enabling the cross region application. So that's it, there uh, in my friends in the demo. So I would request you to please go ahead and uh, try using uh, the same uh, by using your AWS accounts because only then you'll be able to have the hands on and you know, have the confidence that how all things. Just uh, you know, use your AWS and uh, account and uh, just try to configure this cross in the application. So thank you friends, thank you for watching this video. If you really like this video, please hit the like button and uh, you know, last, please do subscribe our channel so that uh, you can get the uh, you know subsequent updates about our videos. So thank you friends, uh, meet you soon in the next video with a new demo. Thank you friends, thank you for watching.